Roberts, and he doesn't have full command of the offense just yet. They had a transition during midseason. He overtook a senior in Tanner Mangum, and you know, the one thing he does do, he'll keep the ball rolling for him, and you know, they're going to try to protect him too in pass pro and getting the run game going tonight. It's going to be a Gibson in the backfield, rolls out, Atkins, dangerous pass. Almost a desperation throw. Watch Taki Taki coming from that Mike linebacker, number 16, right up the A-gap, blows by the center. and This one from 47. 9 of 12 on the season. Got underneath that one, that's going to be well short. Second down, pressure from the edge, no penalty. And a handoff to Katoa. Senior bowl this year, so he's a prospect looking to further his career. So after the first first down of the night for the Cougars, Katoa in the plus territory. Alex Smith, let's not forget that. On third down. Nearly picked off, and it was. Off the carom, BYU will take over. Malik Moore snuck in there career. Yep, Rhett, Rhett Sandlin stepping in tonight, playing in place of Riggs Powell, but he's been getting a lot more time in the defense of late, and he's able to bat the ball up in the air, and then the nickelback, Malik Moore, able to come down with the interception, and that's just great ball hawking skills there by Moore. Ball's up in the air, you see Moore's eyes go right to the ball, comes down with it. They had success running the ball the last series of downs. Hadley up the gut, stays alive, belted down near the five. He, he comes hard to the ball, put the lick on Hadley. Hadley again, off the right side. It'll be first and goal for BYU. Roy Lo Same play again. Hadley across the goal line for the touchdown. His fourth of the season. He was playing linebacker a month ago, converted over to offense, and he pays some dividends right there. You know, right there, able to punch it in from a yard away and get points off the turnover. Huge for BYU. Well, after a fast start by Josh Atkins, he started six for his first eight through the air. He's two for his last ten, including that last interception. We'll hand it off this time to Jason Huntley with a burst of speed. And a shoestring tackle in the backfield. Michael Shelton, a fifth-year senior quarterback for New Mexico State. It's interesting, this year the Aggies, the only team in the FBS ranks to lose their starting rusher, passer, tackler, and receiver. The Aggies, the Aggies for New Mexico State are fast. I don't know if he's used to the speed. Showing a three-man front, pressure off the edge. Micah Simon, a team captain, falls forward. It'll bring up third down and short. You know, At New Mexico State, he also had been coaching recently under Mike Leach at Washington State. Christian Gibson will lose to Sione Takitaki. Crowd comes to its feet. Aggies need 10 across the middle. Pass is going to be picked off at the 20. Falling down, Isaiah Kafusi. Take a look, Isaiah Kafusi making the play. We'll be back, 7-7. Their first. Isaiah Kafusi. Kafusi's all over the field. Well, Isaiah Kafusi, again, he gets a great deep drop, takes away the passing lane, and Atkins never sees him, but watch, he goes up one-handed. First down, drive stays alive. Dallin Holker. He can push the ball down the field, but that's a crucial third down conversion. Off play action, pitch and catch. First down, Hefo reels it in. Comeback win at UMass. He's the leading receiver for the Cougars. Pini Katoa falls four to the 40. Crucial time to teach and to learn and to get better. Hadley got to the edge, picked up the first down, and then some. There goes Matt Hadley to the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, Matt Hadley had a touchdown run a week ago against UMass. He just keeps his legs going here, never gets up. 
eludes a lot of tacklers. Runs between like five or six players and play the Broncos in Denver. And, and the Rams are such a fun team to watch and, and so well coached. And Huntley bottled up, driven down. That's snowed up in Laramie earlier tonight as well. The Wyoming Air Force contest on third down. Quick toss, it all depends on the spot. And it's going to be close as O.J. Clark was brought down by the Wolaku. His forward progress took him almost to the necessary yardage for the sticks. And it's going to be fourth. He got to punt it away. Game concluded moments ago on ABC. Could the Knights sneak up or should Ohio State drop back as Wilson fires a laser across the middle? Dallin Holker. Into plus territory, LaForce brought him down, but entering offseason players. You mentioned bowl practices, which are so valuable. The teams that reach postseason and offsides will be called against the Aggies. I think you very possibly could leapfrog the Buckeyes. I, I didn't see it from Ohio State today. And their defense really struggled on the road at Mayor. Ever that the CFP top 10 did not change, and, and Roy, I think it has to change weekly. Because the month of November, so many things are happening. A shovel pass to Bushman. Gets to the edge. Punishing hit. Sent out near the first. Bushman, he had a catch in the very first game against Arizona. A beautiful catch. Using tempo. Katoa to the end zone. For the touchdown. Well, Katoa has a ton of explosiveness. And you see where he just takes the pitch from Zach Wilson. Gets great blocking out front. And the biggest play for the Aggies here in this first half. Want to keep that defense on the sideline. Atkins, down he goes at the 16. 101st in the country with 140 yards per game. And up the middle goes Riley Burt. Now in Aggie territory. Approaching three to play in the first half. Bird again. Punishing run ahead of the 41. Kalani Sataki telling us that Bird probably the fastest running back on the roster. Still working on the vision. Laser shot and a missile brought in at the 26. There's a lot of moving parts. Bird far side. Flashes the speed and close to another first down. Will well, it is, absolutely. There is a transition period, without question. Utilizing tempo, that's a first down for Riley Burton. Just came in, and Jeff Grimes has been around quite a bit. Saw Tanner Mangum for a moment. Katoa right up the middle. Second touchdown of this second quarter. Was one upset in the top ten. Alabama was challenged for a half. Clemson was challenged for a quarter. As Huntley brings it out and is tripped up at the 12. Senior Dylan Colley back deep. 1-12 remaining here in our first half in Provo. On the fly, Colley. Dangerous grab brought down at the 41 after a punt of just 30 yards. So to your beat a top 10 Wisconsin team on the road. It's their first loss of the season. Badgers really were never the same after that. Wilson to the tight end, Bushman. Tripped up inside the 15. Now Bushman, a freshman All-American a year ago. And, and they're looking to clock the ball here. Save the timeout. Be a 23-yard field goal attempt for Skyler South. And the Cougars. Under Doug Martin in his first six seasons. Wilson on second down and long. Dangerous toss. Did Bushman bring it in? I think he did. Three catches already. Yeah, he came into tonight's game. 16 on the year. and Boy, again, Zach Wilson threading the needle that time to his tight end. Good enough for a first down. Wilson again out of the gun. Hands it off to Riley Burt. 
Backside pursuit after a gain of four. It was BYU's defense. They, they elected to go a little more zone coverage and, and cause a little problems for the Aggies. Taki, Taki with a sack. Second down and down goes Atkins. Well, Lorenzo Fawatea, number 55, coming from the interior. He's on the point at the nose. 40-yard attempt for Dylan Brown. Missed from 47 yards out earlier. Got underneath that one and did the same thing here. And the coaching staff for New Mexico State. That occurring during our last break. Riley Burt back to live action. Three-star prospect, according to ESPN, coming out of high school was Burt. Play action, flung across the middle. Pau with a first down. And slowed the receiver down. That was a nice throw. Burt up the gut. BYU a big test coming up next week at Utah, right up the road. One of the great rivalries. Out of the other BYU backs, and of course, Squally Canada's out tonight. Katoa. As, as you have to, right? But you have to win games, and, you know, BYU's expectations are high. Pressure off the edge. Wilson retreats. Slings it to Holker. First down, Cougars. Well, Roy, let me give you the awareness factor of Zach Wilson. On a scale of 1 to 10 there, I'm going to give him a 10. Corner blitz off the edge. He saw it. He ends up extending it, running around. He goes right back to where the corner vacated. Four catches for over 75 yards tonight for Dylan Holker. Riley Burt. Zach Wilson, the runner-up for Mr. Football in the state of Utah a year ago. And that's the kind of play I think Kalani Sataki wants to get back to. I think he wants balance in this BYU offense. And Katoa straight ahead, his third touchdown of the night. Well, Lopini Katoa, number four, over for his third touchdown of the night. And who's he following? Big number 66, the redshirt freshman out of American Fork, Utah, right up the road. James Empey gets two blocks and just allows number four. He's in either the Knicks or the Lakers. He's so much fun to watch, but Golden State always fun to watch as well. Christian Gibson bottled up, driven backwards. From the 15, third down. Got to think Aggies are thinking this is four down territory. The end zone and incomplete. Strikes the receiver Mills just as the ball comes in and he punches the ball out. That's just a really good play by Keenan Ellis. Ball got off early. Taki Taki leaping over a potential blocker. Well, a nice round of applause for senior quarterback Tanner Mangum. And you know it's got to feel good for his final home game to be back on the field. He started the first six games this year. Gave way to Zach Wilson. He's done a great job mentoring the freshman quarterback. And now, chance to go out with a bang. So Mangum under center. When you think back to his career, as Lopini Katoa, who's already had a career night, off to the race, is brought down inside the 25. Got a grill full of some turf, too. <laughs> First play, Mangum, and, and Mangum, you, you know, it's interesting. Zach Wilson told us yesterday, he and Tanner, probably the two closest quarterbacks in the quarterback room, and, and Mangum has done a great job. It's been difficult for him. Listen, ne never want to give up your job. Cross the middle. Down to the one-yard line. But, you know, early in the season, Roy, I think, it was the right decision to go with Mangum because he can stand in the pocket. The experience of playing in big games and they knocked off Wisconsin in Madison. And now Katoa over for number four tonight. ESPN College Football is presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Tanner Mangum on senior night, showing some love for Kalani Sitake. Quite, uh, quite the accomplishments.
Mangum back on the field. Katoa straight ahead. Crop after a four-nine year in 2017. Yep, yep. That that's a big accomplishment. Accomplishment, Roy. Looking at it, you know, one destroyed Colorado. Yeah. Utes have been impressive. They've suffered injuries on the offensive side, losing a quarterback and running back. Second down coming up for the Cougars. Tanner Mangum remains on the field. Now gear off to the races. Almost to the end zone. Well, gear came on the field with just 14 total yards this year. Triple that on one carry. I, I usually don't give away game balls this early in the game, but I'm going to give it to the BYU offensive line. Aggies take over at the 20. Gibson a quick grab. You know, we talked a lot. Mateo, his first year, and then when he left the J.C. level, 5 a.m. every day, ate, had tons of protein, got his body right, and he didn't know where he was going to end up and play, but Bill Belichick. New Mexico State. And a jet sweep. Next bill. Week. And there's always chaos that goes down the final week of that game, so certainly that played a role, but still, you can't fault Notre Dame's performance. You've got different terms for the different committee members, so every year there's rollover. And so, in theory, how teams are judged, it can change a little bit as the punch mop, BYU recovers. A lot of things can happen, a lot of things will happen. Manga back on the field. Mill. The jet sweep stays in bounds for a moment. Good friend Booger McFarland. Jason Witten get back at it. He's a Salters. Pump fake for Atkins, and he goes down. And the final score this evening 45 to 10.